Hi everyone, I got this USA tag sign from the Dollar Tree. I removed the star embellishments, the hanger, and all the paper from the front. This is totally optional. If you don't want to remove the paper, you can always paint over it. Once I did remove the paper, I used a sanding block and gave it a quick sanding. With the sanding dust removed, I then painted the board using folk art chalk paint in the color Imperial. And I set that aside to dry. I then used Waverly chalk paint in the color Plaster and did a dry brush method. I loaded my paintbrush with some paint, dabbed it off on a paper towel, and went over the entire board. You can add as little or as much as you'd like and let that dry. The next color I used to dry brush on is Americana acrylic paint in the color Open Water. I did the same technique as I did with the plaster and I let that dry. The final color added to the board is Waverly Antique Wax. I did the same method as before, the dry brush one. I paid special attention to the corners and the hole at the top of the board, and I set that aside to dry. I found this hand towel at Hobby Lobby in their spring section. It's 75% off right now. I cut off the tag, then I opened it up, made some slits larger than the image, and I tore the fabric around it to give it a ruffled look. If your image is still a little big for the surface you want to adhere it to, always cut a little more off. Just make sure you go higher than your image so you don't tear into it. I used Fabric Mod Podge to adhere the fabric to the board itself. I placed a generous amount on my board, then laid down my fabric, making sure all the little threads were smoothed out on the edge so they can be seen. Once the fabric was smoothed out, I added more Mod Podge over the top, paying special attention to the frayed edges, and I set that aside to dry. I found these ribbons at Dollar Tree and thought they would be perfect for this. I cut a strip of each 15 inches long, then cut those in half. I then took each section, folded it over, and hot glued it to the center to create a faux bow. Once each bow was made, I crisscrossed them on top of each other, then hot glued them down to create this cute bow. Once that was secured, I took some chute and made a simple bow to place in the center, and I hot glued that down. After I found the right placement for the bow and hot glued it in place, I took some nautical rope, cut a section off, then hot glued the ends together. I added a smaller piece of jute around the ends to secure the nautical rope. I hot glued one end, wrapped it around, glued the other end, and cut off the rest of it. I then finagled the nautical rope onto my board to figure out where I wanted it to go. And there you go, a cute farmhouse kitchen sign. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video. And remember, you can always follow my page at Jenny of All Trades. I'm also on YouTube. Thanks for watching, stay crafty, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.